So here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a sample guide. So just so you guys can get the idea of what would what you guys would see. So here, let's go ahead and take a look. Looks like we have a castle level 26 here. Um, so let's go ahead and start right off from the top. And we'll just take a look at the airship. So it's a level 40 airship. Not terrible. Um, could definitely be a lot better. A higher level for your castle level. But let's go ahead and take a look. So we'll see here. He has no levels in his airship. He hasn't taken any of his uh, assault points and put it into his airship. Looking around, he doesn't have it set up for PvP at all. Um, I think he's got it set up for PvE. Yeah. So, I would just mention this to him. Say, hey, I don't know, you know, what your plans are. Like, if you like to sit bubbled and, or like you're kingdom is very peaceful and you don't participate in KE or you only participate in KE and you switch up your account for that so you could go ahead and switch up <coughs> your airship abilities and then also post with that your best airship parts along with that so your highest airship abilities will go with your highest airship parts so that you can maximize the amount of rewards you can get from your airship parts as well as maximizing um, the damage you can do to your opponent. So take a look at both offense and defense. Um, quite possibly want to remove your battlefield treatment and instead place that with the, that's the wrong one, infantry cover one, infantry versus distance damage. I would definitely put that in over the infantry versus cavalry damage reduction, but possibly think about taking out battlefield treatment for this guy. Moving over to defense, um, not bad, but I'd probably take out some of these first two defense guys and throw in some of your attack abilities as well as the uh, better guardian abilities, like the infantry cover one the, uh, again, and then putting in some of your distance versus cavalry and distance versus, or your cavalry versus your distance damage. Um, so that would be some places to start with that. Um, you also want to start working on getting some better star levels. So just grind those out. Focus on putting them into your attack and defense first. <coughs> Moving over to your equipment. Alright, so for your combat equipment, taking a look at this, you definitely have a weak point right here with your coat. Um, Looks like you have um, some gathering equipment. So maybe that's something that you would take on for just non-combat uh, times. But another thing that you want to look at is you want to avoid these level 16 equipments. You always want to go for the level 21s as they, the stats that they give you are just going to be better for <coughs> combat. Um, and it will help you a little bit better. So here we have a duelist, that's great. This is where you should at least start working towards. You should start having an all duelist before moving on and you know putting some of your attention elsewhere. So you really want to start grinding out your duelist um, pieces of equipment. And just moving forward, alright, so Athos boosts, boots, those are good. This is really what you want to start seeing. <coughs> at least the purple 21s. Um, here we have the strategy charm. This isn't terrible. However, you want to start moving towards the gold equipment as you work your way up. So we can take a look at that again in the armory or the forge. So let's look at your designs and you know start looking to see where you should start focusing towards. So you have a good noble armor. Uh, you might want to start focusing on this. <laughs> until you get the duelist um, scrolls and designs as this will be a much larger increase over your purple level 16 so definitely want to start taking a look into that um, not necessarily ne um, 
pertinent to go straight for your level 21 orange boots as you already have the level 21 purples plus one so you're doing good there looking for like strategy charms doesn't look like you have too much in the way of what you could do possibly go up to the level 21 orange that should be a relatively small upgrade you could probably scrounge together the um, necessary pieces in order to do this so looking forward rest is looking okay you definitely want to start trying to work on getting those duelist designs and that will really help you for your level here we've got some uh, gems they look pretty good <coughs> So we've got some Hope level 6s, some level 5s. Definitely want to get rid of these. So your current levels for the Hope at level 5 are only 30%. You can do much better. Um, you can really start getting Justice for pretty cheap, pretty free. Um, you can start doing the dailies for the Spear and Mines to get the Nobilities. That will be immediate um, increase over what you already have all across the board so I would highly recommend you go for like the level 4 nobility gems just to replace your level 5 hopes and that would be a huge increase of about what 23 percent so you're almost doubling the amount of reward just from a free gem so it'll take some time about 10 days it'll take you 10 days um, per piece but if you're going for the free method that's definitely the way to go um, as you probably won't be able to get justice anywhere else other than doing some of your shooting gallery so looking at what you're spending it on yeah there is no ne necessity to go ahead and get the sealed demon hunter equipment designs you're not going to be able to craft them for a while with uh, not spending any money so I would highly just recommend that you focus solely on getting duelist as well as the nobility gems at level four. Um, moving forward, we can go ahead and take a look at your march capacity. Well, your march setups. So looking here, you do have T9, so that's fantastic. You do have pretty low numbers of infantry, so I'm going to highly recommend right off the bat, train up more infantry. You're going to need that always training infantry. <coughs> so that's going to be extremely important moving down you could probably take up your t8s a little higher in numbers so if you had the proper amount of infantry i'd probably have your march setup looking a little bit more like this increasing your infantry across the board I'd want to see at least 30,000 T9s and about 10,000 T8s um, and then probably take your distance troops down like 1500 then I'd probably move these guys down about 500 just because you're pretty low on your march capacity so this might be uh, something you want to look at in your research I'm not going to save this as you don't really have the troop numbers in order to make this change. But this would definitely be somewhere you want to start looking at in the near future. And this would just allow for you to have some extra room in order to increase your infantry in T9s and T8s. As well as increasing your T8s across the board down the line. And that would be a solid march if your opponent did not have any traps. If they do have traps then you're going to need about 5,000. Um artillery so pretty low in gold however that's not bad at all just constantly save it up do what you can aristocrat chest these guys are going to be fantastic so always make sure you're doing your dailies and saving those up and save up food definitely in your bags this will really help you with troops as well as just moving forward um,
with like any upgrades that you want to do. So now let's go ahead and take a look at your glory. So level 26, that's pretty good, solid number, but let's hope that you didn't put everything into your stronghold, which is what a lot of people do. All right, so getting a little internet notification problems. All right, so it seems that you might have all of your glory maxed out for your level, and that's fantastic. All of your buildings seem to be pretty well up there with your city level, so that's good. All right, so moving forward, just summing up what you could do here. I'm not going to take a look at your creation. I'm not fantastic with creation. I haven't made any guides for Guns of Glory with, for it so far, but I will be shortly in the near future. Things to take away. Your airship, make sure that you're, um, before you go into any attacking, that you're set up for attacking. Fix up your abilities and then make sure that you manipulate where your airship parts go in order to get the most benefit out of it. Your equipment, definitely want to go ahead and start working on replacing your chest piece as well as focusing on getting your, your charm as well as your boots up to Duelist. Those will be your next weakest pieces. And then just moving there on forward to full-on Duelist. You could get those all for free with um, Aristocrat uh, chest, not chests, um, the Red Guard bonus chests. And then you also want to start focusing on getting all the nobility gemstones in place. That would be extremely important. So that that's pretty much the gist of We'll be able to do go ahead and add in some more infantry troops as well so you could go ahead and follow my little guide there on what to do with your um, march setup I apologize I seem a little nasally coughing quite a bit pretty sick but this would sum up pretty much a, a $25 guide that I would do for someone basically we have the $10 guide which would be a re written review thoughts and next steps so if you don't really have the time to meet up that would be a quick way to go so I'll ask you some questions about your account I'll log in and then I'll type up a page or two of basically what we're talking about here in a $25 uh, guide I would go ahead and do a private live stream with the purchaser and we I would also make a improvement plan for you um, the live stream, you don't have to be online the same time I do it. I could always send you the link. You can always ask me questions afterwards. Um, and I would take immediate correction steps to be able to go ahead and fix what I would see wrong with the account. Um, the $50 guide, I would take what we took from the $25 guide and private live stream, taking the immediate correction steps and creating an improvement plan for you. And then a $100 guide would just be the $50 guide times three. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. If you have, if you are interested, um, please go ahead and join the Discord channel that I have and reach out to me there. Um, and then we could start coordinating that. Discord channel invitation should be in the basic info for the live stream as well as any videos that I post here in the future. Thank you guys for watching this little clip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.